Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is Prepositional Phrase 32. The prepositional phrase today is, like a lamb to the slaughter. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, this can also be rephrased as, as lambs to the slaughter, you know, like kind of in a plural sense. Or down here, sometimes instead of lamb, we might say sheep, like a sheep to the slaughter too. So it could be said all of those ways. All right, let's continue. Uh, if a person goes to a place like a lamb to the slaughter, he or she will go quietly without resistance, so without fighting, obediently, you know, just following, doing what they're told, uh, following and not realizing the danger or unpleasantness that lay ahead of them. So that's the way we usually use it. All right, let's continue. Uh, the origin of this phrase comes from the Bible. Uh, and is used a few times throughout it. The first one is from uh, Isaiah 53, 7. Uh, here is the quote, okay, and they say, uh, all of us, meaning like all people in general, have gone astray, gone in the wrong direction. Each of us has turned to his own way. Well, just, you know, doing your own thing, which may not always be the right thing. Um, but the Lord has caused the inequity, equity uh, like sins or evil, uh, of his all to fall on him, meaning that he will pay for it. Uh, he was oppressed, meaning held down, uh, and afflicted. So they're actually talking about, you know, Jesus when uh, he was being led to be, you know, crucified. Uh, yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to slaughter. And like a sheep that is silent before his shearers, you know, the shearers, they're the ones that cut off the lamb's uh, wool, basically. So he did not open his mouth. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, okay, now the Bible passage showed Jesus willingly sacrificed his life to save humanity. So he did know what he was facing. He did know where he was going. He did know that he would feel pain. Uh, but when we use it about people today, usually we mean that they are kind of ignorant or they're naive and they're being led into a bad situation. So that's the way the phrase is used today. In the case of Jesus, unfortunately for him, he knew the pain that he was going to go through. So that's, that's a different, slightly different situation there. Well, let's continue. Yeah, so however, most of the time we hear it now, it is to express one unknowingly, naively, uh, or ignorantly, so not being aware or just being too naive, uh, could be led into a bad situation that could be a catastrophe or end one's life, you know, lead to one's death. Okay, so here's a couple of examples we have here. Uh, example number one. During World War II, many Nazis led Jews to gas chambers to exterminate them. And the Jews followed like a lamb to the slaughter. Or you could say as lambs to the slaughter. You could say it that way as well. Okay, and uh, number two, um, rather than me give you the example, I'm going to give you a George Washington quote. I'll let him tell you. Uh, so this is from George Washington. If freedom of speech is taken away uh is taken away then dumb and silent you know not being able to speak or say anything we may be led like sheep to the slaughter so george washington himself kind of used this phrase as well just to warn us to be careful never let them take freedom of speech away from you okay and you know i, I sometimes kind of heard it used like possibly you know to do with the stock market too if I don't know, maybe on TV, a lot of people told you it was good buying opportunities and stuff, but a lot of insiders knew and they purposely had a uh, collapse of the stock market, maybe where the average person was set up. You know, we were, we were led into it. We were fooled. We were given bad advice and we could be led like sheep to the slaughter, you know, financially at least. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.